Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we are starting our quest for the King's Call God Roll. The King's Call is a legendary Jacob's pistol that's a very small magazine size, but if you hit crits, it adds ammo back to the magazine. It's an excellent boss shredder. I have one here, but it's too low damage. It only has 60,000. The God Roll, as seen on this Queen's Call, is 69,000 damage. So I want to get a King's Call with 69,000 damage as the god roll my build to get it done against tyreen the destroyer so i have a monarch i have a light show my shield is the super soldier i sometimes go to the revolter both with action skills start i have a bounty hunter and i'm rocking a schluter so i can get more legendary drops all right let's get this job done so i'm gonna start with the king's call just to show you what we're working with here we toss and see as the bullets they go out and they come back in it's like that it's see how much damage that does it's kind of ridiculous so I would like one that is max damage and looks like Tyreen, she's a little upset right now. She's gonna do one more blast. And then what you do is you climb up on her leg like this. And you blast that crit spot. Hope to get your action skill back. And once you do, you toss a grenade, activate her action skill and blast. There we go. I must watch to my light show. A little bit higher damage when I'm not critting. There we go. We're going to have to get through a couple different immunity phases per fight. She's going to bend down here again. Climb the leg. Climb up. Blast. Jump off. Now, this is going to be the last immunity or second to last immunity phase. As we get them down lower here. Once she's in this phase, I like to get one kill. Activate my Schluter. Our Schluter's active. On the side, you can see the green aura. And get the final kill on Tyreen. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Looking for a 69,000 King's Call, please. Trevenators, there's going to be a lot of good stuff here, but I'm looking for that nice King's Call. Nope, no star in that fastball. Gatlin Gun, Star Helix. Nope. Looks like no King's Call here, so what we can do is we save quit, and I have a counter now. Boom, run counter, up one. Now, I do have some runs before this, when I was farming for my Queen's Call, but... This is going to be the official start of my King's Call runs. We jump down here. Nice and easy. Nice and quick. Toss a nade. Get to that immunity phase. And something that I really like about what we're rocking now is this, this super soldier gives us fire rate and regen and movement speed while my shield is full. And on action skill start, activate any effects that trigger on shield break or fill. So the super soldier does have some pretty nice synergy with that anointment but again you could always go back to the revolter this is kind of the normie version the revolter i the super soldier is kind of like uh you know the next best thing it doesn't do the shock damage but it does give you a bunch of bonus damage go ahead and climb tyreen we're gonna go for max efficiency clears here there we go get a little bit stuck on the eye toss a nade here we go very nice blast again Trying to get to that next immunity phase as quickly as possible. There we go. Very nice. So one of the nicest things about the Kings and Queens calls is that they're just super good at shredding bosses. So I want... I have a God Roll Corrosive Queens call, but I do not have a King's call at all. So let's toss this bad Larry. Give it to the, the final immunity phase. There we go. Find an enemy to kill. You look simple enough. Maybe not. How about somebody else? Somebody easier? There we go. Now we focus the boss down. With our Schluter active. There we go. Come on, Tyreen. What you got for me? A Thunderball Fist. A Layuda. Okay. Doesn't look like I'm getting it. A Queen's Call with 66,000 damage again. My Queen's Call, right here, 69,000 damage. It's the same weapon. Mine's a little bit better. Now, the King's Call and the Queen's Call are identical. They can roll in different elements. So, the King's Call comes in Fire and Shock. The Queen's Call comes in Corrosive, Radiation, and Cryo. There is no such thing as a non-elemental King's Call or Queen's Call. Look at that. So, now our run, count run counter is going to go up to 2, as long as it's wor working properly. There we go. And now we go in for a third kill. 
We got this. So now I also have a Monarch to use. This doesn't do as much damage, looks like, as the light show. A big part of that could be because I have a pistol damage. I have a pistol damage class mod boosting it. Or my, my class mod boost pistol damage is not sorry full damage, so. Let me see what you got. You can always just slap on the revolter to do one more damage with that monarch. Okay, now climb up here. Blast him with my king's call. So the king's call, if you're not critting, see it only takes two it only gets two shots off. That's why the king's call is way better on flak than other characters. That's simply because when you activate your action skill, everything you do crits, so that you, you're constantly getting these nice crits. Go ahead. I still have fadeaway active. Ooh, there we go. Okay, climb up here. Very clean. As long as we're shooting that up top, we should be absolutely fine. Action skill me. Look at that damage coming in. See, that's why we want a god roll one. That way we can absolutely shred everything. Our slooter is now active. Our fadeaway is not. So we're going to switch over to light show. And sometimes Tyreen will... Sometimes she will go on a bit of like a, a longer immunity phase rampage. Where she just keeps sending out attacks. I find that if you kill her quick, like quickly, she doesn't actually go into this this mode at all. But she's gonna jump away now, and she's gonna be extra annoying. Before she comes back, she's just gonna she's gonna do her her uh, range attack here. And that one, she should become targetable here at any moment. There we go. But yeah, you have to climb here again. So again, we, we want to make sure we're doing the, the farm as efficiently as possible. Otherwise, we get really slowed down. Here we go. Activate fade away. I had I think I had the Schluter active, but I may not have that. That's probably on me there. Mind Melt Rocket Boots. Looks like that's the only legendary that dropped this time around. Yeah, no Schluter active. Okay, we run it back. Yeah, farming for the King's Call is, it's, I'm really excited to get a good one. I would like to get one God Roll of each element. Let's go ahead and up our run counter. Glad to have you back. All right, let's go. Start with this light show, and I'm going to use the Revolter this time around, just to show you how the Revolter can just take something like this Monarch and pump up the damage so much. Bipod me. There you go. Just like that. Killed her so fast that she just she doesn't know what to do with herself. Beautiful. Alright, turn around. Give me a chance here. Very nice. Oh, a drop down. Yeah, this is a this is a tough farm to do extremely efficiently. It knocks me off the top. That's fine. Reload me. Become targetable again, please. Doesn't look like doesn't look like she wants to. That's fine because I got something for that. Trust me. I got something for that. Beautiful. One more immunity phase looks like. Okay, now just don't do your crazy moves here, Tyreen. Just do your regular moves. Looks like she's gonna do her crazy once. Yeah, if I, I, I gotta figure out why she does all that crazy stuff. Because look look how slow this farm goes now that she's doing that. If I stand inside one of these zones, I wonder... The, these zones on the ground that light up, I wonder if I can do damage to her. Okay, keep one enemy alive so I can activate my Schluter. Ooh, I got hit. Dang. There we go. Come on down, Tyreen. The price is right. So she's gonna... Yeah, she waits to do her bend down animation until after... After she does her big attack at, which is pretty pretty insanely unlucky. Okay, let's get one kill on you. Now the Schluter is active. Get a lot more drops. Beautiful. Our Kings Call Me. Wixie Tango Foxtrot. Hippity Hopper. And a Ventral Damned. Okay. Did not get the one we were looking for. Pretty unfortunate, but that's okay. 
Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go for absolutely max efficiency, 100% revolter with light show. Let's see what we can do. All right, toss my nade. Get to the first immunity phase. She's gonna send out two attacks. If, I, if you run right, then run left. Doesn't hit you. Now get ready to climb. Climb, climb, climb. Don't mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna jump down now. Fade away. Immunity phase, reload me. Now she should be targetable here in a second. That's that's the one that's bothering me right there. So she should become targetable. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna mess up again here. Very interesting. I think I need to not I think what I need to do is not um, blast the top of her head when I'm up here. As much as I have been. Okay. Reload me. Fade away. There we go. Get one kill on the side. Oh, actually, I, I did bypass the final phase. There we go. She didn't, she didn't run away from me this time. Very clean. And we had Splitter active. Love that. A okay, Shockstone Deathless. No, thank you. We have a Queen's Call, but it's not the max damage one. It's only 63,000 damage. Not taking it. Okay. Aircat, a barrage, a white elephants. Okay. Doesn't look like we got a king's call in this run, so we we go again. There. Let's run it. I do. I can, I can spend a guardian token. I kind of want to do that. Redeem token. Let's do reload speed. Nice. Uh, let's get it. All right, toss grenades. Start off with a little bit of fade away action. Okay, very clean. All right, me. Left. Good stuff. Climb up on this leg. Let's go for a tap here. I'm not gonna go for anything too crazy. I'm gonna go into fade away. I think this will be a little bit more consistent. Here we go. Should become targetable again very quickly. Yes, that's much better. Now she's not going to walk to the edge of the arena. Instead, she's just going to drop straight down to her knee. I can climb. And this time I can go for just raw damage. Get to the immunity phase. Hopefully. Before she runs away from me. There we go. Now I will kill something else. That's right. She does go down one more time. I need to kill something else after I, after I pop her eye. I'll pop her eyeball. Make sure I kill something else. There we go. And now I can go for the kill. If it will let me do any damage. There we go. Schluter is active. Very nice. There's some room for efficiency right there. There's room for some room for some better efficiency, but. We can go deep nebula, no thanks. Elemental projector launch pad. Could be interesting. No king's call or queen's call. The drop rate is pretty low for each of them. It's in the single digit, so I'm not going to get discouraged or anything like that. Okay. Run counter goes up to six. Let's go get her. Come on, bring it on. Toss me. Blast me. Nice immunity phase. Very good. Getting hit by those attacks doesn't really matter. I don't think we're ever really going to be in danger of losing this fight. Okay, just do go for a couple shots here. There you go. Just enough to get my fade away back up. That's all we care about. Fade away. Grenade. Immunity phase. Get the reload off quickly. And then get to the second immunity phase. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't need to kill anything else quite yet. What we're going to do is going to go for a climb. Max efficiency climb. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, get into her last immunity phase. Ready for a climb? Even though I, th I thought typically there isn't one. There we go. Yeah, there shouldn't be a final climb. What did you drop me? Let's see. A cosmic stalker with SMG damage. It could be interesting. Jackhammer, Ripper. 
A Krakatoa with 14,000 damage. I wonder what the god roll is on that. I think I have a god roll one already, though, so. Okay, let's run it back. All right, seven runs in the books. I'm, I'm happy with the progress we're making. Let's go. All right, nade. Fade away. Immunity phase. Beautiful. That's the easiest part. Now we just got to dodge these two attacks. These climbs are a little bit tricky. Get a decent climb here. Blast. I want to get a little bit more damage to get my fade away active. Toss nade. We have to try to get both these immunity phases done in the same fade away. If we can. Just like that. That is exactly what we want to do. Now we just got to juke. Juke. Climb the leg. Try to get our fade away back by hitting crits. Jump. And now we're going to try to bypass one of these immunity phases. Kill you. And then we get the time ring kill. That's max efficiency right there. Absolutely max efficiency with Schluter. Beautiful. Storming infinity. Doesn't look like we got a, a king's call. Or a queen's call. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty tough farm. That's why we're doing it. Let's run it back. There's something about farming in Borderlands 3 that it just, it just feels kind of like pretty satisfying, honestly. In Borderlands games in general, just being able to take out these bosses with pre pretty good efficiency, even if they have immunity phases. I always feel like the immunity phase farms, the ones that everyone else avoids because they have immunity phase farms, are always kind of like some of my favorites. All right, jump up here. Right, I like to jump to get a little bit of a better angle. Get my action skill back. Reload me. F fade away. Light show reload. That way we our next our next magazine is ready. Boom, just like that. You gotta reload a little bit early. Otherwise you could end up messing it up. Alright, go down. Easy climb. We have to work to get our fadeaway back here. Actually, no, we, we really don't. It's already back up. We're chilling. Alright, so for this time, throw my grenade, get the bonus damage. Blast Tyrene. Reload me. Get one kill on somebody else and blast Tyrene again. That is we are we are getting the max efficiency clears now. Max efficiency clears. Okay, King's Call with 60,000 damage. Unfortunate. I think it's the same amount as my current one. Yeah. Okay. Not quite as good as my other King's Call, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, let's run it back. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm, I'm showing you the actual farms. I feel like, you know... I personally think that trying to make sure that I, I go for peak efficiency is a big deal and you know eventually I get to the point where if I'm if I'm being able to brain dead these farms enough I can start talking about something like the Borderlands movie which is something that uh, I watched okay let's tap you go ahead this is might be a little bit inefficient but we'll see reload me uh, yes once we get to the halfway point reload and this fire right away boom yes okay perfect yeah, so I did watch I did watch the Borderlands movie and I I did tweet at Randy Pitchford. Uh, he didn't block me or anything like that. But the Borderlands movie, I mean, we all kind of knew going in if you followed any of the news that it wasn't going to be like the most amazing, not the most efficient kill, but decently efficient. It wasn't going to be the most amazing movie, but I thought I thought it was okay. And uh, maybe you want to save like my full thoughts for you know, it a different video but I thought the movie was I was I, I honestly found this this is gonna be spoilers spoilers through and through if you haven't seen it then <laughs> and now is a good time to to stop listening but if you remember Borderlands 1 how the vault hunters they were disappointed I'm gonna make sure my run counter goes up the 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 vault hunters were disappointed with the vault because it didn't hold the big treasure they were hoping for it it, it only held a monster right and they were disappointed and then in borderlands 3 the vaults even when we got to go inside them i was disappointed like how little like actual loot there was inside these vaults and i thought that the borderlands movie kind of kept up that tradition this is something that i haven't heard many people talk about where we there's so much build up to the vault the vault the vault the vault the vault that's all anyone could talk about was the vault and then 
we get to the vault, and it's like a big nothing burger. Like it's it's an actually just an absolutely humongous nothing burger. And it wasn't like we got to see this giant monster defending or anything like that, like some of the other games. No, it was like we saw there was a monster, but like it had a very small role. It was not satisfying. It had an unsatisfying end to an unsatisfying villain. Like it, 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 it basically it felt like the movie repeated the same problems that Borderlands 3 had. That being said, I thought that the the CGI with like the different creatures and stuff like that was really cool. Reload me. Get one kill here. Just activate Schluter, go back to Tyrene, bada bing, bada boom. Alright, King's Call, 69,000 damage, please. Hellwalker, I have one already. Garage, ball. And last piece of gear. A Minesweeper with plus three tour cross promotion. <laughs> I'm, as a most player, I'm cringing. Absolutely cringing because of that. Let's go to run counter 11. I, I think that... The vault could have been so much cooler. Like, if if we're being told that like, these vaults hold these infinite treasure, like, I don't want the treasure to just be technology. Like, ugh. I know it's kind of like Ben Borderlands 3, that the vaults are never what you expect, but for once, I want a vault to, like, just be amazing. And with how much buildup there was, like, there was not enough payoff in my mind. I did like a lot of the characters, like the casting, which was what everybody was talking about beforehand. I don't think was that terrible. Like I think Roland did an amazing job. I think honestly, all the actors and actresses did a decent job. I really just thought it was the the, the story and the plot that that was the, the bit of the weaker po the points. You know, this was not satisfying. And I also didn't like how like how violent it got. I know that it's Borderlands. It's like it's very violent, but Lilith's just like showing up at a bar and just like just just killing people because she want this because they like bothered her a little bit i don't know it just i wasn't the hugest fan that my hero was the one going around just murdering people but is what it is decent decent efficient kill right there oh a blast master with no points in torque cross promotion is that the final skill no i think blast master has i think blast master has wow that's actually such a nice Roll. Holy cow. I might give that to my most. That's crazy. I think the Blastmaster has fire in the skag's den. If I remember correctly. A Merv Hex. I need a Merv Tacular Hex. But. Okay. Yeah, we're using the Revolter. The Revolter seems pretty good. Like, it, it's going to do a, a pretty good job at, at clearing this out. Okay. But overall, like, I thought the Borderlands movie, like, the setting and like the cars and the environment and the cgi and animals and effects and stuff like that was really really cool and by the way what we're rocking for our pet and our skill tree it's going to be orange and green just like my my mayhem 11 guide video and for our augments we're going for max damage so fade away for longer and unblinking eye for more more damage while in fade away just a classic fade away build throw my grenade juker main attack bada bing bada boom I, what I I don't know if I would watch the Borderlands movie again like I it just didn't have it didn't have like it had references but it didn't have you know a lot of the guns like I wish I honestly w wish that they had gone f full in on like trying to make the fans happy with a whole bunch of different guns a whole bunch of different vault hunters just like walking around the streets that we knew like oh look there's flack oh there's Moe's you know stuff like that but instead, they went for more of like a default style, which, I mean, it's their prerogative. Let's kill this badass Bark on the side to activate my Schluter, and then Tyrene goes down. Pretty quick farm. I've, I've heard that you can use like the Blade Fury or something to, to bypass the immunity phases. I'm not sure how much better that will be than what I'm doing now, but... Icebreaker Auto Idol is actually... You get plus cryo damage, max shield, and action, school, action cooldown rate. That is amazing. That's an amazing relic for me because a lot of a build that I like to run a lot of the time is a frozen snowshoe build, right? Action skill starts snowshoe. When I activate my action skill, a cryo nova goes out and freezes everybody. Well, a really good combat 
Relic to use is the Icebreaker. Damage against frozen enemies is increased. Cryo efficiency is increased. Cryo damage is increased as well, which is amazing. And the action skill cooldown rate goes hard as well. That's actually a really, really nice relic. Which means that I can now take my old Icebreaker. Icebreaker, harp, taker. So this Icebreaker launch pad and say goodbye forever. Pretty awesome. Getting myself a new a new icebreakers is exactly what I'm looking for for this. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be making these farm videos. I think, you know, there's really no one who's posting, you know, full farm videos on YouTube with like somewhat decent thumbnails. So I think I might just, you know, stick around and do this for a little bit. If I'm playing the Borderlands game anyway. I have no damage this time around. Is it because I put on the frozen snowshoe instead of the revolter? Yeah. The snowshoe I tend to use as more of a, a mobbing tool rather than a bossing tool, but I see how she's all messed up now. Hopefully this won't mess up the entire fight. We'll see. I go down to one knee. Thank you. I'm gonna jump, blast, try to get my action skill back. We do. Toss a nade. As long as we have enough ammo to get to that. There we go. Fire away. Yeah, we got our rhythm. We definitely got our rhythm now. Very cool. All right, jump up here. Go for the jump. This, that might be a mistake right there, what I just did. Let's see. Got, I got the immunity phase. Get one kill on the side. One kill on the side, I said. And I'll go back to Tyrion the Destroyer. Bada bing, bada boom. Schluter me. Schluter me. Of course, we're on Mayhem 11. Rocketeer? I like the Rocketeer a lot, but not if it has Tor Cross Promotion. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about with that, Tor Cross Promotion is a skill for Moe's, and I'll show you. It's the one in the middle. Tor Cross Promotion, because Moe's, her, her character is a Vladoff character. She's a Vladoff mercenary. Um, Iron Bear is manufactured by Vladoff, so Tor Cross Promotion is just saying, hey, Torg is also helping us. That skill doubles the size of your explosions from time to time. And I actually don't want that at all. It's so easy to put yourself down on most. So any points in that is bad news, Bears. Go to 14. I'm not sure if I skipped one. But hey, if we skip one, ain't the biggest deal in the world. Let's keep it running here. The quest for the King's Call continues. The God Roll. The Fire one is what I'm looking for. I toss a nade. Fade away, revolter time. Fairly easy. I think I might have found a, a better, um, an even more efficient strategy here. So, here what I usually do is take a couple shots, reload, activate my action skill. This time, I'm not going to reload. I'm going to take just the 22 shots that I have remaining, toss my nade, and hope to get her down to half health, and now reload. Like that. And then I can start blasting after the reload. Bada bing, bada boom. The farm is getting efficient. I gotta figure out what the best way to do this part is. I think it's something similar where you jump, get your action skill back, activate it, get to that immunity phase, reload, find something to kill, find something to kill. Nothing to kill around me. There we go, got it. Shooter active and we're good. Give me that king's call, please. Let's see a Gatlin cut, no thank you. Radiohead auto idle. I'm okay. Ogre, Backham, Stormfront. No King's Call. Yeah, it's a tough farm. Let's take a look at that Hellwalker's augment. Okay. Or I should say anointment. It's for Zane. Don't necessarily care about it. Beautiful. Beautiful. 15 runs. 15 runs in half an hour. So that's going to be about one run every two minutes. We can go faster than that. Come on. I am speed. I am speed. There we go. Get ready. Turn around. Get juked. Oh, never mind. I get juked. I mean, you absolutely hit me 100%. Okay. Jump. Get our action skill back. We can. There we go. Reload. That's a little bit of non efficiency right there. Get her down to half health. Reload. And blast again. Beautiful. I would say that now is a good time to kill something, but I really think that our Schluter might go away if we try to kill something right right now. So, and we 
Blast her with this. Activate her action skill. Get her down to the immunity phase. Reload me. Blast you, and then blast you. That's not a bad kill at all. It's really not. All right, King's Call Me. Red Fang, interesting. Not, no action skill damage on it, though. Okay. Anquisher, Tracker. Transfusion, Tracker, if it has on Grenade, though, would be kind of nice. I know my Grenade is nothing special. And my Tosis Hunter Seeker is probably best in slot for Flak, but I don't have one. 16 kills in half an hour, we take those. We've seen two King's Calls, I believe. No shock ones, which is interesting. I hop down. I don't think we need to throw a grenade. Yeah, we really don't need to throw a grenade. I don't have to waste my time with that anymore. Let's just see if we need any grenade throws at all. Because again, our our anointment on this grenade throw, weapon, grenade, and action skill damage is increased by 25%. Let's see if we even need to throw any grenades in all this whole fight. I right, jump. Blast. Gets us our action skill. No grenade needed there. Let's see here. No grenade needed there. Beautiful. Come on, get down. Nice. This is getting turning into a, a somewhat efficient clear now. Jump. Okay, got my action skill. Let's reload once. Got a blast. Got you. Got you. Oh, it wasn't active. Let's go. Come on, get the kill. Nice. We got it. We got it. Beautiful. Let's see. Kings call me? I swear. I swear I am. Oh, what is that? No, Rack Commander without action skill damage is just not. It's not worth it. Again, all this other stuff that doesn't have action skill damage. Oh, I do like the Flood, but... Not with that anointment. I don't have that much iridium to just keep rerolling anointment, so. Turn it back. Having a great. Honestly, I, I very much like farming Borderlands uh, three guns. I think it's a pretty fun time, so. And once I get once I get it, I can move on to the next gun. And I, I don't know what I'll do next. I think I might do a. I could do a Monarch. Try to get a God Roll Monarch. I have a God Roll Rowan's Call, which is really nice. I don't know why I'm tossing nades. I'm not even going to be shooting for the next little while anyway. Just my muscle memory kicking in. Okay, so just land as many crits as I can to get back my action skill. Just like that. Reload once you get the half health. Bada bing, bada boom. Super easy. So yeah, I, I, if you guys want to go see the Borderlands movie, I think that... You probably, if you're a Borderlands fan and watch this, watching like this video, you probably should go watch it just just, just to t say to yourself that you did. Oh, beautiful. Show yourself. Boom, that's all we need is those last 10 rounds. But I'm not going to say it's like a must watch. I mean, I don't think the movie's that great. Let's see. We got SMG damage, Jacob's weapon accuracy. No, thanks. Although that, although that... SMG damage could come in handy. Ooh, a bounty hunter. Two bounty hunters in one in one roll. That's actually not so bad. Ooh, a stopgap. A stopgap. If it had an action skill start, I would keep it. I'm I'm not going to be sitting here trying to, you know, re-roll the anointment. Re-roll it. An unforgiven. I'm looking for an unforgiven with a higher crit damage than my current one. 432% crit damage on my unforgiven. And this one has a... 384. Mine's better. Thunderball Fist. No, thank you. So mine is better. Ooh. Yep. Okay, let's run it back. I... I... I, th I think Kevin Hart... People were clowning on him for... We're clowning on the casting decision because they said, you know, he's not serious enough. Kevin Hart did a great job. I honestly thought that a lot of the actors and actresses did a, did a great job. I like, I, I laughed. Like, people were saying that they never laughed. I laughed in the movie. I thought there were plenty of funny moments. It was really, to me, it was the climax of the movie where it all fell apart to me. Like, I thought the beginning wasn't so terrible. Like, yeah, there was, there was a ton of continuity errors. Like, the whole thing with Krieg in the beginning, like, made no sense to me. Like, Krieg's entire 
role in the movie didn't make that much sense to me. But once I understood, like, okay, that's what he's... He's a static character. He's not a dynamic character. He's not... He didn't really get any arc or anything like that. He just... He was just on the spaceship that Tina was on when she was getting rescued. And they're like, oh, it's... Kevin Hart goes, oh, it's Krieg, right? It's like, uh... How do you know is like is Krieg that famous? Or like what's going on here? Alright, let's go ahead and blast this guy. Do I have anything to kill around me? I do. And then that should do the trick. Ah, oh, not quite. Still a fadeaway active though. Easy kill. Yeah, so Krieg, I mean, Krieg really didn't get a Caustic Idol Idol isn't I already have an icebreaker auto idol, so I'm kind of chilling. Red Fang. Red Fang with grenade damage is interesting but let's grab my iridium a snowdrift victory rush that's an absolutely amazing amazing relic right there the victory rush is an is a really great relic let's go ahead and show you guys this the snow the the victory rush when you kill a badass you trigger victory rush and you get movement speed and universal damage scaling for 60 seconds and this one's great because it's also a snowdrift that's a really nice roll Really nice roll. Okay. Keep it going. 19 runs. I, 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 I really like having this run counter because I can, you know, I can keep track a, a lot easier. You know, that's that's the whole point. Nice drop down. Do I mix it up and go a little bit of King's Call? My 60,000 damage King's Call? Yeah, he's got to be careful because it doesn't do as much damages the light show, so I don't want to accidentally mess up the fight. And plus, my King's Call doesn't have a good anointment right now. I'm waiting to get a Gatoro one before I switch up my anointment that much. Okay. 12 rounds. Is that going to be enough to get him to half? No. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, I definitely messed it up. Yep. Definitely messed that one up. That's a troll. Do I reset is the question. Do I reset? Um, Maybe. Let's, go, let's, just, let's just play this one out and see how it goes. Alright, so we're gonna blast. Activate our action skill. Damage can solve everything, right? Surely she doesn't go crazy and come hard to kill. Hey, not even that not even bad. She didn't she didn't do any of her fancy animations. That's good. Okay. Star Helix, Nighthawk, and getting a lot of conference calls and stuff like that. Transformer. With action skill start, which is interesting, but I'm not taking it. Okay, we run it back. So, I think with the movie, one thing that definitely was lacking was the the threat level of of Atlas. Like it, it just didn't seem like Atlas was that scary. You know, it didn't seem like Atlas was really posing that much of a threat in general. You know. It, just didn't feel like that at all. Like, it's like, what? He's gonna... Atlas is just gonna get more rich, you know? He's gonna get m more rich. It's kind of crazy. And not, not even to mention the fact that there was... There was abs... Like, pretty much no, like, Borderlands guns in the game. Let's get a reload off. Like, Marcus... One of the coolest things about the movie was Marcus showing up and being like, oh, I know exactly what kind of gun you have. Like, not just the, not just with the Vladoff Infinity, but with other guns as well. He was like, oh, like, look at that kind of gun. Like, I'll trade you. Like, by the way, Monarch, Monarch Gaming. Get one kill somewhere. On you, and then back to Tyreen. It's like, Marcus knew what a few of the different guns in the were oh queen's call 63,000 damage which is not a god roll and 69,000 damage is a big one we have a melee damage rough rider which is interesting Let's see what do we got here rat commander okay that atlas weapon fire rate Plus, a sorrowful damage would be insane on an OPQ system, which I do have an OPQ system, but not a God Roll one. All right, let's run it back. Yeah, when Marcus was like, when Marcus in the movie was running around talking about. Oh, Hunter Seeker? No. 
when he was like saying the different types of weapons it's like what imagine if we had like more of that in the game you know like more stuff that we knew would have been cool fade away me light show is so easy to use it's ridiculous on drop down buddy hop on up Try to land Chris to get back her action skill. Just like that. 21 rounds should be enough to get the job done here. Get to half health. Got it. With two rounds remaining. Nice. Last again. This is going to be a nice efficient one, I hope. Go ahead. Do your thing. There we go. Get blasted. Looking for something to kill now. There we go. Schluter's active. Kill two birds with one stone. Bada bing, bada boom. That could be it. No, nope. Destructo Spinner. Nagata. Oh, there's a nice Butcher there. That's interesting. Which is pretty easy to get, though, from other places. Stopgap. Spark Plug Deathless could be really interesting, but no. Okay. No drop this time. A little unfortunate, but we keep it moving. By unfortunate, I mean like that we we expected basically to not to never see this, especially like in 22 runs. Like, is that really going to be enough runs to get the job done? Probably not. All right, bring it on, homie. Let me know if you, if you made it to this point in the video. Like, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of the Borderlands movie. I know that like the Borderlands Reddit has been doing nothing but going off, but. There was an argument that Randy Pitchford was making when people on Twitter were saying, you know, it would have been nice to see like a movie that was more like the games. And Randy was like, oh, so you're saying you like the game better than the movie. That's a really big compliment because me and my friends made the game. Oh, I need to not do mess around. There we go. Me and my friends made the game and this movie was made by, you know, Hollywood professionals. Thank you for that amazing compliment. It's like, the fact that Randy is spinning it that way is like a little bit weird to me. It's like, th Randy, this, this, he's like diverting blame to, to the Hollywood professionals, which is a little bit weird. Like, you could, I think you could have done something to make this movie better. Action skill start Rough Rider, I don't think it actually has any special properties. Three router is very interesting when it comes on shield break the next shot the next shot deals 100% shield capacity is bonus amp damage that's pretty interesting okay I would like a cut purse launch pad more than anything I, don't, I still don't have a cut purse launch pad which is really nice for getting back your ammo okay run it back I'm getting a nice amount of iridium though it'll help me with the reroll on the king's call when I do get it yeah that's perfect the more the more I delay it what do you guys think about that argument that 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 Randy was making. Basically, if you were saying you wanted the movie to be more like the games, as far as like, you know, the content, and that's a huge compliment to the games. It's like, yes, it is a huge compliment to the games because the games are good. But if anything, it's it's more of a knock on the movie than anything else. It's not, you're not really building up the games with that statement. You're more putting the movie down and Randy just, you know, absolutely going off about, about it. Like he just, he was he was he was in full defense mode and i i can i'm not saying i respect the full defense mode but i understand the full defense mode like yeah people were expecting you know an actual decent storyline like but and at the end of the day we got a villain who didn't really raise the stakes and when he got defeated it wasn't really that satisfying so like what do you really want from people you know let's get reload off let's kill this varkid and then finish out tyrene See Nemesis, Krakatoa, Cryostone Commando, Commando Planetoid. Very interesting. Oh, Queen's Call. Oh, only sixty-three thousand damage. Minus sixty-nine thousand damage. Wow, that's a turtle turtle. That's an insane stop gap. Actually, that's a turtle turtle roll. Anointed. Again, I'm not really for the stopgap because this, because the stopgap what it does is on shield break become immune to any damage taken for five seconds. But if you look at the super soldier, 
the super soldier on shield, on shield full gain a protective barrier for five seconds so like it's basically the same but it gives you way more so i don't really see a point to use the stop gap if you have access to the super soldier but that is just me though i really do not know if there's that many differences between them if the super soldier gives you that ultimate invincibility or not All right, let's keep the farm going. We're at 45 minutes. I think we probably go for an hour and see if we can get this thing to drop. If not, we just keep we keep grinding for it. All right, let's go ahead. Toss me. There we go. No need to no need to throw grenades there. Once again, that's complete waste. Climb me, climb me, climb me. Go jump, fall backward. 20 rounds should be enough to get the job done. Yep, reload me. Blast. Beautiful. Like imagine if we had gotten like, you know, like a double penetrating unkept herald somewhere, you know. Just somewhere in the movie. Just add some like other guns. Especially there's something that Joel Su brought up in one of his videos, like there was no elemental guns at all. It was all just kinetic. Like they could have there was a flamethrower in there, but it didn't it looked like a flamethrower. It didn't look like, you know, a Borderlands gun. This had a humongous budget. I'm just wondering, like, you know, they they could have seen a maybe a little bit more Adam, but maybe a little bit more of a Adam Bomb Auto Idol. That's pretty nice. Area of effect damage. Yes. That is really, really nice. If I'm trying to do a if I'm trying to do a gamma burst build, that could be insanely good. Beautiful. Yeah, how about a King's Call, though? <laughs> I haven't seen a King's Call in a while. I think we've gotten two King's Calls this whole time. Okay, let's run it back. But I, I really do think the movie could have been a lot better if they revved up the, the, the climax of the movie. Like, for instance, they... They spend a lot of time outside of the final vault having this like battle between the Atlas Corporation and our heroes. What if instead of having that huge battle for so long, instead we had somebody opens the vault, that the vault monster comes out to defend it like normal and everyone has to try to survive, right? Everyone tries to survive it. And Atlas, maybe he doesn't survive it, but like it's a struggle for our heroes to survive the vault, you know? Survive the vault monster. That would have been pretty cool. That would have been pretty cool. Like fight against the vault monster. Instead of we got just like, yep, the vault monster, he like lives in the vault. We understand that the vault monster lives in the vault. Go ahead and blast you, get your immunity phase going get you i can go for one reload here i got time beautiful a snowdrift loaded dice no i don't think so i don't think so buddy what a king's call a cryo stone miss moxie's endowment miss moxie's endowment is good especially if you're trying to do exp farming but I would like a different prefix for it. Okay, let's run it back. If we can get... I mean, it looks like we are going to get definitely more than 30 runs done. So definitely going faster than 2 minutes per run, which is nice. And I got a chance to offload some of my thoughts. I just... I, I think that... A more professional ending would have been something a lot better than what we got with the super like anticlimactic fight between Atlas and and Lilith who Lilith, Lilith gets her siren powers and then she's like I know all these fancy tricks now What would have been much I think a lot lot cooler is instead of Lilith just like using her fire whip instead do Lilith action skill where she goes invisible and comes back out and when she reappears she's in like a blaze of uh, she sends out a fire nova that, that blasts people away, right? Like, that's her move. And I don't think we got to really see that all that much. She did do some, like, invisibility stuff, but it... She, like... 
she ends up defeating the main villain because she like pulls in Aladdin from Disney's Aladdin where she pickpockets his shield. It's like, oh, look what I got. It's like, that's really how we're going to end up beating him. And then, and then, oh, the Red Queen. Interesting. I, I guess I didn't have the Schluter active there. Um, And then Atlas goes into the vault and he's like, oh, it's more than that. You go into the vault, right? This is my biggest grievance for the entire film. You go into the vault, and there's there's nothing in there besides some floating rocks. And Atlas goes, it's more than I could have ever imagined. And I'm like looking at it like, that line makes no sense. This, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. So like, what exactly were you imagining, and how was this more than it? Like, at least let us... You know, I just want to see some, like, some treasure, something, you know? Like, anything. I, I don't know. I've always felt like the vaults have always been kind of a letdown in Borderlands, especially because, like, this, that's, like, the main goal is to hunt these vaults down. And I get that it's not, like, it's not supposed to be what you expect it, but... The fact that Atlas goes in there and he's like, it's more than I could have ever imagined. Like, no, it's not. Like, that's just... It's like, the movie has no idea. Like, the visuals did not match up there. And I'm... I, I just wish the vault was cooler. That's all. Wish the vault was cooler. Okay. Do I have Schluter active? I do not. I need to get Schluter active somehow. Whatever. Let's go for a kill here. Oh, I did. I didn't know. I don't think I got it. King's call me. The, the Schluter doesn't affect the the drop rates for the King's call. So get my Iridium. Run it back. 28 runs, not so bad. Not so bad. The Rift of the Destroyer. We got this. No nade needed. Bring it on, homie. Out. Easy money. Climb, climb, climb. Blast. Try to get my action skill back. There we go. 24 rounds should be more than enough. Reload me. And blast. Look at that. It's, it's peak efficiency right now. And again, the reason why the light show does best for me is because of this bounty hunter class mod. Weapon handling, weapon damage, but the pistol damage. Right? That, that boosts up my pistols more than any of my other weapon types. Which is fine, because I have a light show. It's a, it's a fairly decent light show as well. I right, blast you. Immunity phase. Got a, a, var, uh, a Varkid pod. And then, boom. It's a Schluter kill. Beautiful. Beautiful. Trevenator, I do like that gun, but it's... I, I have one of my Moe's. It's more of a... It's more of a Moe's splash damage type gun. Hmm, doesn't look like we got a King's Call. Who would you know? Let's run it back. Yeah, about to hit 30 runs at 54 minutes. Two, two runs per minute, or one run every two minutes is basically what we're... It's close to that. It's a little bit a little bit less than that, but... Go. Go get him. My skag pet. Yeah, I'm running Mr. Chu because Mr. Chu, he gives me 5% damage and 10% gun damage, I believe, so... He's pretty worth it. Shoot the eye to get back my action skill. 17 rounds, is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Beautiful. It's a pretty good fight, honestly. I enjoy it. Ooh, not when I fall down the leg. That's the worst. Go. It does let my action skill go come back faster. Blast you. Find somebody else. You. There we go. One reload. Schluter active. Bada bing, bada boom. Sawbar. Nice. I mean, I'm saying nice. I'm not, get, I'm not getting anything good, but... Radiohead splatter gun. There's a face puncher here. I'm not sure if this face puncher is going to be better than my own, but I'm more, like, I'm more inclined to use the face puncher if I'm running an Amara character, which I, I've never made an Amara to level 72. 
30 rounds. Let's try to get let's try to get all the way to as many as we can before this hour. We'll stop it there. And we'll call that day one. We'll call that the 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 hunt for the god rogue king's call day one. Go down, homie. Climb, climb, climb. Ready to blast him. Oh, one more shot should get me back my action skill. 27 rounds will be more than enough. Reload. Blast him again. There we go. Keep sending, keep sending your most powerful attacks. See what happens. Oh, I need to climb up. Get me up there. There we go. Not, not, not the most efficient. Okay, 22 rounds, that should be enough. Good, got you. Anybody around? Nobody around except for you. I got one reload. Should be strong enough. Yes, gotcha. A king's call, come on. Nothing would make me happier than a king's... A... A guy roll king's call in the very last... Run. Face puncher, a lob. Black hole. Shocking triple A. Okay, well, give me that iridium. Let's head out of here. There's 31. Officially, we are past 30. And we got a couple minutes to spare. If we went absolute peak efficiency, I think we could go even faster. Like maybe a, even a snow drift to get down here faster. But as far as damage goes, we're, we are doing pretty well getting through these immunity phases. Juke. Juke. Climb me. Blast me. Chuck. Reload. Like that. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, what I think I might do is when I blast you right there, get a kill now, maybe? Kill, kill this guy now. There we go. Get a reload off. Immunity phase. Wait a second. Immunity phase. I'm not sure if that's faster and more efficient, but it does keep my Schluter active. It's a flood. Magnificence. Deadeye. Racketeer with Tour Cross Promotion. I don't usually take those. Okay. Run it back. 32. I think this this will probably be my last this is the last run we'll go 33 runs and then we'll call it here this is the one where we get the king's call Good to see you, my boy. come on king's call me max efficiency juke that move and we're not gonna take any damage either maybe from the maybe from the small mobs but not from the boss we juked we're here on we have our jump prepped for when it becomes active jump Get our action skill back. Get you down below half. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we do take some damage from the boss, but that's okay. As long as I'm there at the leg when it when it becomes available, don't fall and we lo we lose our efficiency. That's okay. Still good. Need to get our action skill back. There we go. Immunity phase. Reload. Kill you. Beautiful. Schluter active for the final kill. Come on. Kings call me. Lucian's call. Bounty hunter, but less good rolls. Okay, so we don't end up getting the king's call on this first day of farming for it. But hey, 30... Should be 33 runs. Beautiful. And we did get a couple king's calls, but none of them were going to be higher damage... See this king we did get this king's call. I would say mine's a little bit better, so we can drop that one gone forever. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thanks all hanging out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.